there she is. But she should be down this way again. No, I know, I understand. Oh. Survivors of the attack on Pearl Harbor, spouses, family, close friends, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 50th annual National Pearl Harbor Day ceremony in this warmer, safer location. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And we certainly, on behalf of the survivors, thank Cal State East Bay for accommodating this ceremony, along with masterful relocator Ron Brown. <laughs> you may plan an elaborate ceremony down to the nth degree, but if you have to relocate, this is the man. <laughs> Our meeting will begin with the presentation of colors and a pledge of allegiance to the flag led by the Historical Forces Association. Then we'll be singing a national anthem. Please stand and remain standing through this segment. The posting of the colors. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please join Vietnam War veteran and longtime honorary member of Pearl Harbor Survivors Association, Steve Barton, as together we sing our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watch Were so gallantly streaming As the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled 
banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you. You may be seated. <laughs> Ron Brown will now acknowledge attending dignitaries. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you all for joining us today. Just wanted to take a moment to acknowledge some of our elected officials uh, who were able to join us here today. Um, and a few showed up, uh, so I, my order may be a little bit uh, confused here. But representing Congressman George Miller, we have District Director Barbara Johnson. Um, representing, oh, okay. <laughs> representing Senator uh, Mark DeSolnier, we have April Wythus. We have Assembly uh, Member Susan Bonilla. <laughs> Representing Assembly Member Joan Buchanan, we have uh, Area Field Representatives Iris Obergon and Gail Larson. <laughs> and we have County Supervisor Karen Mitroff. <laughs> and Danville uh, Council Member and Honorary Pearl Harbor Survivor, uh, Karen Stepper. And unless somebody else snuck in, I think that takes care of everybody. Thank you. With wel welcoming remarks, I'd like to introduce the Marin District Superintendent and the Diablo Vista Superintendent acting Superintendent Danita Rodriguez. Good afternoon. Thanks everyone for being here today. This is an amazing turnout and I'm so thrilled to see everybody here. We knew that we'd get a lot of folks on a Saturday, um, but this is fabulous. So thanks everybody for showing up. We are just beginning to launch California State Park's 150th anniversary, and we'll be commemorating this anniversary throughout 2014. The state of California acquired the Yosemite Valley and the Mariposa Big Trees Grove Grant in 1864. The bill was to set aside areas purely for the purpose of preservation and the enjoyment of the citizens. The bill was signed by President Abraham Lincoln on June 30th, 1864, and was the first of its kind in the whole world. On September 28th, 1864, California Governor Frederick Lowe signed the proclamation accepting the Mariposa Grove and Yosemite Valley grant from the federal government. The mindset that we must preserve places for their inherent value to humans and the creatures and features that define those places spread throughout the world. Mount Diablo surely is one of our state parks that have been preserved for its cultural and natural resources. The beacon, also known as the Eye of Diablo, is culturally significant whereby we get to remember our Pearl Harbor survivors every December 7th. I am honored to represent the state of California in remembering these heroes. With the beacon sitting on top of Mount Diablo, it will not allow us to forget those that were willing to sacrifice their lives for our American freedoms. This year, as we remember our Pearl Harbor survivors, we celebrate the restoration of the beacon as a collaborative effort between Assembly Member Joan Buchanan our wonderful partner, Save Mount Diablo, a number of amazing volunteers 
led by the Beacon Boys, and that's B-O-Y-Z, by the way, the community and state parks, we are excited to present the restored culturally significant feature on Mount Diablo to the survivors, their families and friends, our community, and the citizens of California. California State Parks has been around for nearly 50 years, 150 years, by preserving cultural and naturally significant spaces, we are able to tell the stories that are so important. And the Pearl Harbor story, although occurring thousands of miles away, is one that is significant and relevant history here at Mount Diablo State Park. Thank you. <laughs> 